Today in our 2015 Ford Edge, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the DrawTight Max Frame Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 75214. Here's what this hitch is going to look like once it's installed on the vehicle. As you can see, it's nice and visible here to where you've got good access to everything. You've got the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening here with the reinforcement collar that's welded on around it. You can see the two holes over here. We've got our standard 5 8 inch hitch pin hole that's going to be used to secure all of our accessories. And then here we've got our half inch hole. And what that's going to be used with is the J-pin stabilization system if you have one. Got the plate style safety chain connection points under here. And we've got nice large holes. So just about any size safety chain that you may have, you should be able to get it connected there. Over here we've got this nice little bracket. And what this bracket's here for is in order to mount up any wiring that you may have. So if you're planning on towing a trailer on a regular basis, this is a good point to be able to mount up your wiring for nice easy access. This hitch features a 600 pound max tongue weight rating and a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating and when used with a weight distribution system those numbers stay the same. The thing that I like most about this hitch is the good accessibility that you're going to have to whatever we'll need to use and that way it'll make sure that this hitch is nice and easy to operate. Now let's give you some measurements to help assist you with your selection of hitch mounted accessories such as ball mounts, bike racks, or cargo carriers. The distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the rear bumper is about five and a half inches and the distance from the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening to the ground is about eleven and three quarter inches. Now let's show you how to install this hitch. First thing that we'll need to do is we're going to take this exhaust and remove the hanger so that it can hang down a little bit so we've got more room to work. But before I take those off, I'm going to hang a support strap between either side here to help hold up the exhaust so that it can't sag down too far and possibly damage any of the flanges. On either exhaust hanger, there's one on the driver's side and then one over on the passenger side. Take a little bit of penetrating spray, spray it on there to help ease removal. Then you can use a pry bar or I'm going to use some channel locks in order to remove the rubber isolator off the hanger. And we'll do that same thing on the other side. So now on either side, we'll remove these underbody panels. You need a 10 millimeter socket. and also a 5.5 millimeter socket. Then we'll be able to take these and remove them. And it's going to be the same process for the one on the other side. Now those underbody panels that we removed, we're going to leave them off, but you can remove them or trim them if you'd like to, but for video purposes we're going to leave them off. Now on both sides, the frame rail is going to have these two holes on the outer edges and those are going to be the holes that our hardware are going to come out through in order to mount up our hitch. And then up here towards the front we've got this elongated hole and that's going to be our access hole in order to pull the hardware into place for those mounting points. We're going to need to enlarge this access hole just a little bit in order to be able to get the head of our half inch carriage bolts to fit through there. So in order to do that you can use a file if you have one. I've got a drill bit that's going to help grind that away. So now the head of our carriage bolts will fit through there. What we can do is feed our fish wire through the rearmost hole, feed it up towards our access hole. So we want that coiled end to come out through the access hole that we enlarged. And then what we can do is put our square hold spacer onto our fish wire, followed by our half inch carriage bolt. And then we can feed those into the frame rail and then gently pull them through into position. Now that's where they'll come out, but in order to put our hitch up, we'll need to make sure that they stay just back into the frame there. So we'll repeat that process for the other three attachment points. 
Now it's a good idea to get a second set of hands in order to put this up into position. And you'll want to take the fish wires and feed them from the inside towards the outside of the hitch so you'll be able to pull those bolts through those holes. Then you can put on conical tooth washer with teeth facing in towards the hitch, followed by the half inch nut on your half inch carriage bolt. So once you've got one started on each side, you can let it hang there in order to get the rest of the hardware started. Then you can use a three quarter inch socket and begin tightening down the nuts once you've got your hitch centered. And then once we've got all of our fasteners tightened, we can go around and make sure that they're torqued to the spec in the instructions. So then once we've got our hitch torqued down, we can put our exhaust hangers back on. So once we've got our exhaust replaced, we can remove our support strap. And then we're ready to hit the road. And that's going to complete our look at and installation of the Draw Type Max Frame Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 75214, on our 2015 Ford. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.